Hi, my name is John Guest. I'm a site supervisor for Upward Construction. And uh, we used ICF on this particular project just because it's new and to save a whole bunch of construction material. A lot of material is wasted when in the concrete part of the construction process. And uh, we found that we've saved quite a bit of money not using a whole bunch of plywood and a lot of wood we can't reuse later in the, pro later in the project. We found that uh, getting the footings, we lasered the footings in to within a quarter inch on the whole site. The project's about 7,800 square feet. And this was crucial, squaring up the first two rows. Um, getting that, it, it essentially establishes the whole shape of the building for the rest of the stacking of the blocks. So getting that footing level was a huge time saver. The, putting the ICF blocks together was quite fast and simple. But we added a whole bunch of free-forming to the ICF walls, which was maybe took longer than expected. So the whole project, uh, putting up for the first pour, it took us about three weeks. So one of the interesting things was the free-forming around the uh, regular ICF blocks. The engineer designed that we need 14-inch pilaster to support all the steel up above. So we should go and look at that. That's quite interesting how that came together. When we before we started excavating, I realized that because we were so close to the driveway that the, the banking of the excavation would be very, very steep. And to get into the site, because there's no back alley or no side access, we decided to rent some scaffold parts when we built this bridge. <laughs> this is the first pilaster that we did. You can see it's actually on the other side of a doorway, which kind of made it uh, a little bit easier to construct. We put a big panel on the back we ran the ICF block straight through and cut a slot on this side and we just put a straight panel on the back we used um, coil rod and those uh, nuts and washers we lined the inside of our, fo our form with foam to maintain the R value around the pilaster block out. Here we got you can see we put the floor ledgers on ahead of time we cut little notches in the top row of the ICF and pre-bolted on the uh, uh, Nelson bolts so that we poured the concrete all around it. We left uh, ICF between each bolt and that actually has the integral tie that's part of the block. So we didn't, we didn't cut any ties out. So you can see uh, this is the, the balance of the coil rod on this side. Uh, we haven't broken it off here yet, but we will. This uh, will There'll be some more framing in here. Will you actually use this to tie it tight to the wall, the, this coil rod here? But it's uh, buried right in the concrete and it was a great form system to use for this. And we didn't have to worry about getting specialty ties for different widths and lengths and everything. We just cut off what we needed off a 12 foot length. This is the home theater. Tomorrow we're getting um, all the shoring for the suspended slab. Uh, it'll be an excellent soundproof room once we're all done in here. Yeah, so uh, when, they, when they poured it, they uh, demanded that uh, we use a six inch slump. Uh, we started off with that, but quite often, because it was such a hot day, it began to thicken up and uh, the placers uh, added a bit of water as it went and there was quite a bit of vibration, even though there weren't supposed to, but it all worked out pretty fine. So the system was a lot stronger than we thought. The original uh, ICF wall is here. And uh, when we built our form, we added these uh, two and a half inch styrofoam panels to the inside of the form. Use those uh, three inch nails, a little plastic washer to hold it on and put divots with our hammer on the inside of the styrofoam and the concrete just flowed into those divots and it just holds it perfectly. So it worked, it was a system worked out really well. So we had coil rod going through this way because we were worried about this kind of expansion and coil rod running uh, across it. Again, it was, it was so much uh, reinforcement, it, it was overkill, but it worked great just because of the ability to cut this coil rod to any length that you want. And looking from above too, it looks really straight, so we're really happy. So we've got most, uh, most of the uh, formwork off, but here is the last little section. These one by fours go across the joints where you start from one corner and the other and you come to a central point, the marriage line. This seemingly impossible Piece, little piece of wood did exactly its job in a 14 and a half foot pour. No, not even a bit of cream came, came out. Quite amazing. So 
We really like ICF. It, it, we find it to be a, a very simple system to put together. The reinforcement was a breeze. We didn't have to tie or cut anything. And uh, we'll definitely be using it again.